So you can see my project manager has quite a bit more tools. And, and again, we'll, we'll spin through a couple of those really quickly. But before we go further, um, we talked about data on process maps before, and I just want to cover that really quickly because this is it's a pretty powerful feature. Um, so process maps and flowcharts, they can be really nice and um, quick tools for, for visualizing um, information, but they can also be used to really an analyze a process um, and capture the, the, the intricacies involved with it. So one of the things you can do in Workspace is you can have your shapes here, and you can actually attach data to them. So here I have a, a really simple process. I'm doing some kind of food safety process. Um, and for each of these, these steps in my process, I have variables associated with them. So um, for receiving, I have an input variable of the supplier and an input variable of the weight, you know, the, the weight of whatever I'm receiving. Um, here on this shape, on the, the RINs, I have an input of water usage. I also have an output of, of residue. And I can keep uh, adding variables to my shapes. So here we'll go over here to this task pane. You can see here are the, the here's the data that I can add to it. So I already have an X, uh, a water usage. I'm going to add a new one. Let's call this uh, RIN solution type. This is controllable. This attribute you can go, you can see you can go and add as much um, information related to it as you want. And then it, it immediately displays right on top of the shape. So I can see these things right at a glance. I can see the inputs and the outputs that are um, important for, for each step in my process. Um, I can also add data that's, that's related specifically to the step. So over here, you can see there's a variables tab. There's also a process tab. So for example, I might say, well, I know my DPMO at this, at this stage is, is, uh, four, is 400. And now you, you'll notice that DPMO doesn't display right away. If you wanted it to, you can control which data is, is displayed on the process map. It's always there, it's always available, but it doesn't always necessarily display. But again, you can control that. So again, I click and drag to select everything. And now I go up to this button, data display. Choose this first one, select and arrange shape data. And I see a, a sample shape. And I can just drag these things around. So let's say I want all my variables down here on the bottom. And we're going to take DPMO that wasn't displayed before. And I could put it on the left, or I could put it on the right. I could put it way down here at the bottom again. I'm going to put it on the top. And when I click OK, you can see it moved all the variables down to the bottom, all my X's and all my Y's. And there's my DPMO up at the top. OK, so and that's convenient for, for keeping track of all of your um, data that's associated with the process. Um, but that's it's just the beginning of what you can do with that data in Workspace. One of the really powerful features that is available here is that data that you enter in one tool is available in other tools inside that same project. And we call that data sharing.